Welcome to Final Expense Telesales. My name is Dana Neeson, and today I have a special guest, an agent that just celebrated her three-month anniversary yesterday. She's currently going through our agent and training program where we help agents super speed their learning curve. We jump on their calls and, and help them close their sales, ultimately to give them a lot more confidence that they can do this on their own. Um, over a certain amount of time. And so I'm happy to welcome Miss Nikita. Thank you for being Hi. here. Hi, I've been here for three months. I'm excited. Um, and yeah, of course, I when you asked me to do this, I was super, I was like, of course, absolutely. You know, because <laughs> I know, I just know that it's going to help more people. Well, you know what I mean? I, I yeah. really hope that it does. I'm excited for you to share your story and anything else you feel inspired to tell the audience that's going to be watching it today. Um, but just like we do in Discovery, I want to go back before we go forwards. And so tell us how long you've had your life insurance license for and what were you doing prior to coming over here? Oh, I was just getting ready to actually say just that, because Perfect. I think that's the part that is kind of the kicker. Like, I got my license in January. So okay. literally brand new at this, you know, we're now in September. Mm -hmm. um, and everywhere, you know, you get your license, you study for it, you get it. Um, and you just, you know, uh, think like, oh, everything's just going to be handed to me on this silver platter and I'm going to go up out there. I'm going to be a millionaire. You know, I think the first thing that hit me in the face was buying leads mm. and did that. I think I spent like four hundred dollars on my first couple leads and did not sell a single one. Now, but before we before we move on from that, um, do because you've done a lot of learning and growing over the past couple months here. Mm -hmm. Just curious, knowing what you know now, do you think that it was the leads, or do you think you just were not set up for success, or maybe both? I came from administration. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought as long as I go in and I just talk to people the same way I've been doing in admin, you know what I mean? Which is just like customer service. Yeah. I'd be perfectly fine, you know, but I didn't have the skill set. Clearly, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know later on recognize what an objection was. Like if someone was like, I'll talk to you later. I really thought, sure, they're going to talk to me later, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure people are laughing at that, but there are so many people getting their life insurance license every day that come from a customer service background or even a different type of sales background that's more like inbound order taking type of, of sales that they just have no idea what they're stepping into. And it sounds like that's kind of where you were. How did you yeah. get into it? Like, why did you decide to get your license? Um, so I got my license just because I was just kind of like, I wanted, I have so many goals and so many things that I actually want to achieve. And I was just like, but I need a job that's going to help me be able to do what I need to do. And that if that's like showing up for like my God kids, when they give me a call, I show up for them. I'm there. You know, if it's showing up for my nephew, when he needs me, I'm there. And mm -hmm. I just figured like in a nine, a regular nine to five, I won't have that flexibility. Okay. And so I got uh, my license to really just kind of like be my own boss, start my own business. And I, I've just always had that mindset of, I want to have my own thing. I want to run my own business. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, I've led, I led several teams before in admin and just different areas of my life. And mm -hmm. so I was just like, I'm great at this. I just need to figure out how to do it. And of course I saw the other side of it where it was like you could have the management and help with that and help with this I was like oh my gosh like this is perfect like this is the best career for me to join and so that's kind of why I got it you know okay. but I did yeah I found myself at like just you know I worked at my in my previous position for 10 years and literally had nothing to show for it you know and so I was just like I want something where I can grow 
and just be like, yes, I started from the ground literally and built this up and here's the evidence for it. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think I jumped in with just everything, not knowing which way to go, completely broke. You know, I, I even the first time, I don't think you know this, but even the first time I talked to y'all, mm -hmm. I didn't even have enough money <laughs> to pay just for the program. Just like the 250, I was just like, oh, I don't got that kind of money. Like, I got to figure out what I'm going to do, you no, know? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even have the enough money just to pay for like the leads and just do that. I was, so I was just like, okay, I think I spoke with Taylor and I was like, well, okay, I don't really have that money right now, but I'm gonna figure it out. And that's, this is what I knew I wanted to do. So I got another job and did that for like, I think it was like three months. And the minute I got the money I knew would sustain me for like the next three months, I was literally like, I'm out by talk to you later and immediately called her up and was like, Hey, I talked to you a long time ago. I don't know if you remember me. And she's like, yeah, I, yeah, here's the training. And she kind of told me everything to do. And I just like hopped right in. So, okay. So for people that are watching that don't understand what you just said, we have a $250 seat fee that is eligible to be reimbursed every month. As long as you have 80 hours of talk time or 10,000 of issued production and um, it was that initial 250 that you didn't have in order to get started. Got it. Right. But okay. even then, the 80 hours of talk time sounds really intimidating. And I just want to break it down and just say, like, that's just five hours a day. You of know, talk that's, time, though, of right? talk time. Right. Yeah. That's just five hours of talk time a day just yes. so people like because 80 hours of talk time I, at first I was like that's intimidating and then when I got in my seat and I actually calculated I was like that's just talking to people for like having conversations for like five hours and I have the opportunity to get a sell let's do it you and know actually I mean? to clarify even further if there are 20 working days in a month it's actually four hours of talk time a day not even five Right. Five hours is uh, where we start giving bonuses um, for talk time. So it's even less than that. Um, and you've always been a really hard worker um, coming in. And so getting the talk time was never really an issue for you. How many states did you start with when you came in? I started with five. You started, started with the minimum. Five. Yeah. And through the bonus program, you now have almost all of them except Hawaii. Yeah, literally. So we've been able to get you the rest of the 17 states. You're just missing Hawaii now. And mm -hmm. um, I'm sure the lead flow for you has has picked up and the opportunity has picked up every time we've been able to get you more and more states. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the other thing to that is you guys got me the states. I didn't even pay for those. Those were coming out of like just bonuses that were given right. to, me. you know what I mean? Like it wasn't exactly. like actually coming out of my check and I still got like, that bonus too and so it's literally like you can't walk I shouldn't say that but I'm speaking for myself when I say this if I fail at this it would be because of me and absolutely nothing else you know what I mean because it's like everything has literally been built up for me that there is no option to me even if I wanted to fail I couldn't fail I have no option. Like, you know, like you really have to like be in bed all day, not trying like at all in order to absolutely fail at this just because it's like I came from administration, had no sales background, did like all the odds that mm -hmm. could possibly be odds stacked up against you or stuck stacked up against me and it's like I'm thriving in this I was just sharing with Dana earlier when I hopped on that for, I had an appointment and I got in and for the first time in like three months they asked me to make a payment and I was like I got the money right here like and I could do it and I was so excited because it was like oh my gosh like I'm actually paying for this on my own like the relief it brings oh you know that gave ah. me that's so awesome I'm so glad yeah. you did that here um, and we've seen so much improvement and growth from you in just three months of time. And I think that a lot of agents, when they first start, it is very overwhelming. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I have a very advanced way of teaching people how to sell. Right. Right. And it's actually a good thing that you didn't have a lot of sales experience because you didn't have any bad habits 
when you came in, it was like, right. I'm just an open book and you just teach me how to do it. And so, but you were also very open to it, even if it was hard for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so for, for someone that's just in their first week or two, or someone that's thinking about coming in, how long do you feel like it really took you for everything to start of like click for everything? I'd say probably, you know, getting used to everything. Um, I would definitely say a solid like month and a half, okay. you know, that's when it started like really like, okay, I can't be afraid to ask the questions no matter how uncomfortable I am, you know, because if I ask the questions, I'll be able to overcome the objections later. If I don't ask the questions, something happened here. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Even in one of our trainings, I think it was at that one and a half mark where you were like, sell me this pen. And I was sitting here like, I don't know how to sell you a pen. How am I supposed to sell you a pen? And, you know, from the training, I immediately remembered like, oh, well, like, what do you need the pen for? You know, like, those are things I never cared for before. You know, you want a pen? Okay, take it, you know? And then they end up returning the pen because it's like, "Mm, it's not really what I wanted, you know? And so it's just helped me. I mean, I'm doing this. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I'm doing this in just my everyday life where if someone says something that I don't understand, it's made me even bolder in that aspect in my leadership. So you don't even know this, but I lead a team of like just musicians. Um, and we love, uh, just creative people. We do because they're all over the place. And I want to say for the first time, I've done this for 10 years, Dana. And for the first time, like I'm sitting down and when they're telling me this and that and that, instead of just like coming at them with, well, you know, you get paid to do this. So just do it. Like, it's like, okay, well, tell me more about that. And they've even been texting me and just like, we don't know what this change is, what's happening, but like, you're just really more fun to work with. We feel heard, we feel understood, we feel seen. And I'm literally just taking everything I've learned here and applying it to like areas just outside of uh, my work, areas out that outside of my family. And it's just like, it blows my mind, the skill set that we're learning that you're like handing away for free is just like, what anyway yeah. i don't know if you've realized this by the way because i'm looking at um at your uh, income tracker right now and i know that we've taken half of your bonuses to pay for states i don't know if you keep track of it or not but do you know how much you earned in bonuses in the month of july not how much went entered in your account because we took half for states no i don't even know i wasn't keeping track you earned three thousand dollars in bonuses in July, just I in mean, bonuses, right? Because when you I just started, you had just started um, at the very end of June, right? Is that right? Mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. started yep. at the very, very end of June. In fact, um, just so I have my numbers correct, where are you on here? June twenty fourth was your onboarding yep. date. So you just yep. started at the very end of June, and what I like to tell people is because there, I know there's a learning curve. There is a big learning curve. You have a new team, new manager, you have four managers that are there to help you on your calls, right? You have your onboarding, you have the script, you have a, like a system, you have a new company, you have the e-app, like there's a lot coming at, coming out at you, even though you're with right. one carrier, it's a lot. Right. right. Um, we come to training all the time and I'm throwing all this information your way and you're not going to make a lot of money in commissions. In right. Month. You're just not, you know, right. unless you are, have all 17 states and you know exactly what you're doing and you start selling three policies a day from day. Mm-hmm. One, you right. got to look at your first month as like, I just got to learn everything. <laughs> and, um, and because our agent and training program starts at a 40% comp and you work your way up to the 40, right. I think you're at right now. Yeah. And then you go to the 50%, you made with your advance. $839 in commissions. <laughs> wow. But 3,000 right. in bonuses right? because you put in the time and we were able to get you almost all of the states. Right. Um, and I just think that's incredible. It is. Like my PayPal is overflowing with cash right now because 
<laughs> because of the bonuses. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes. And, and like then to flip it, I just want to flip it for you in, here for a second. Now that you've been absorbing all of the mm -hmm. information, you're still getting a lot of money and bonuses. Um, you're still putting in a lot of time, but now you're starting to see the commissions come in. Exactly. And exactly. Um, in uh, uh, August, which was, I think, your first full month where things started coming in, mm -hmm. you had earned $2,500 in commissions plus an additional um, $750 in bonuses, but I think we were still taking half. So um, $1,500 in bonuses. So you had earned almost $3,500 really in your first full commission month. Right. And on pace right now to earn even more than that. In, right. Um, in, in, uh, wait, in September. And yeah. so I'm just so proud of you. Thank um, you. How, how much effort you're putting in. And so I want to speak to um, just your experience in the agent and training program and how how you think the managers, right? We have Melissa, Melissa, Manny, and Craig. Mm -hmm. They've all jumped in on your calls. Like what, what role have they played in your overall learning and confidence? Massive. Massive. You know, I think the first one I've ever done was with Melissa V. And I was like scared out of my mind because it was uh, my first sale. I, I think I texted Manny like, I'm going to make six sales today. And he was just like, yeah, okay, well, let's, you know, let's aim to like tee off four, but like shoot for maybe two, like, <laughs> you know. And it was like my first one, end of the day. I think I'd been on the call on the phone since like six in the morning. No idea what I'm doing. And she, it was a transfer actually. Okay. And she comes in, um, actually, no, that day I didn't even do all day. I started halfway. It was a transfer and none of the managers are available at the moment because they're all on other calls. And she goes, just follow the script. So mm -hmm. I just keep following the script, reading it verbatim doing my I'm just like I'm an actress and I'm just acting this out that's all this is keep going mm -hmm. and Melissa hops on and she follows the script verbatim but made it so natural and for me that was the first like this is doable like I can genuinely do this and it gave me so much confidence to just grind my butt wake up at like, you know, and you don't have to do this, but because I didn't know what I was doing and I'm coming from like administration and now I'm realizing like this is a completely different world. Yeah. Um, I was waking up at like three in the morning just to like read the script and go through the script and figure out like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. And that. just, yeah, you know, cause I, I was just like, okay. And I, all the questions I would have like in that moment in group training, you'd answer every question I had in group training, you'd answer every question I'd be like, but why are we doing this? Why can't we just like skip over all of this? Like, yeah, let's just get to the quote, you know? Yes, you would answer, you would answer, you would clarify. And what they did was as I as they would hop on the calls, and as they would, of course, like, uh, close for us, I would listen to the nuances, to the things there, the way they would ask certain things, the way they would, you know, just ask those clarifying questions that I was terrified of asking. And they would just ask them nonchalantly, like it was absolutely nothing, which gave me the confidence to realize it's absolutely nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I remember when I got my first um, objection, I think it was like a banking objection, I didn't even know what to do. And Chris immediately hops on because I was by myself. Chris like immediately hopped on and he saved that cell for me. And wow. he was just like, did you not know how to do that? I was like, I've never run into a banking objection because like, honestly, like half the time I just ask and they give it, you know, yeah. but this is what they're able to do. And then Manny always hopping on, checking in. Hey, I see you've been doing this. Let's try this this time. Okay, let's tweak it here. You're doing great. Keep going. We'll get them next time. Come on, don't stay down. Get back on the phones. Okay, take a two minute break if you need to, but get back in. Yeah. Melissa V, Melissa S, don't forget, you know, say thank you. Do this. Do, I mean, it's just, I felt not just supported, but set up to succeed. Mm -hmm. To where it's like, again, if this failed, I would have to really go within me and be like, why? What's going on? Because 
they they are caring everything for you. I mean, April's team even calling the people back for us. You know what I mean? Like, and just checking in and doing all those things. Like, it just motivated me. Seeing the managers do their part motivated me to just show up and show up as my best self, knowing that I don't only have support, but that if I feel like I, I'm stuck somewhere. I have four people that I could just reach out to and just be like, hey, I don't think I can handle this one based on how Discovery is going. I mean, Manny hopped on and I think we sold the guy who was literally yelling at me at the beginning of the conversation. Wow. And once it ended, you know, I was just like, honestly, I didn't think it was going to sell because he yelled at me. And he was just like, what? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I was like, yeah, he was yelling. He was furious. He did not want to talk to me. That's why I was just like, I need a manager now, <laughs> like, you know? And right. then you have their phone numbers to where you could just, like, ask them any questions. And they're just available, you know? Um, I know he's on the East Coast. And one time I, I didn't realize we stopped at 7. And I'm calling. <laughs> and I stayed on the phone calling. I think it was like at 10. And he's just like, how? Oh, what do you plan to do for Teleapp? And I was like, I don't know. And he's just like, all right, I'll hop on and do the recording for you. And he's up like, he had started that day and he's just like, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. He's just like, it's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sign it. So send great. It. So you, you don't know? really ever feel like you're alone. Is no, yeah. no, you know. And as what about well, um, what value have you gotten from the one-on-one -on -one call reviews with me? Oh my gosh, that's been the best because that's challenged me to grow. That's challenged me to get out of my own way. That's challenged me to actually listen and not like the, okay, okay, all right, you know, to even mm -hmm. get out of that because, you know, I, I like talk, I'm in front of people. I talk to people all the time it's challenged me to stop saying the ums because you challenged me to do it. You know, you were just like, well, like, why don't you just repeat back what they're saying to you? Something that simple. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. But it didn't dawn on me that that's something I could even do. You know what I mean? And so the value is immense because again, the skills I'm learning here, I've, I've been able to take and apply in other areas of my life and actually bear fruit you know, um, yeah. and just see great results from that. The main thing I've learned and the one of the best things that I treasure is not being afraid to ask, which I think is kind of crazy. But for me, I am a people pleaser, you know? Mm -hmm. And so once I feel like this is an awkward moment, I'm just going to kind of back off. But it's pushed me to realize that if I don't, get out of my own way I'm going to hinder this person from getting out of their own way mm -hmm. and I think in one of our meetings you told me you were like you know what happens if we get so consumed with us you know and we don't end up actually helping this family and something ends up happening to them and now they don't have anything in place and they're in they're just stuck in that place where they have to do like a GoFundMe and all these other things when we could have helped them help protect them and I think from that moment on for me it's just been like if I don't get out of my own way I'm, I might hinder someone and it's like all the things that like I'm afraid of they're not even real <laughs> you know what I mean like they're not real and it's like well what is it going to take from me to ask the person why mm. absolutely nothing what is it going to add to me and add to them? They're actually going to realize why they want what they think they want or what they're saying they want. They're going to realize what they don't want, you know? And half the work will be taken out that I'm quote unquote having to do, but it's like, well, this is what you said earlier. Yeah, you're right. You know what? You're right. You know, and so I think the main thing for me has just been getting out of my way and challenging me to grow in that aspect, because I think um, and I'm growing in this area. I don't even want to, you know, speak it over myself that I'm a people pleaser, but realizing that people pleasing doesn't help anyone. It, it not only hurts me, it hurts them. Yeah. You know, and so that's one of the biggest values, biggest values.
you know, that I could definitely say I've taken away from our one-on-one -on -one trainings. And, you know, beyond that, honestly, growing into the salesperson that I'm even becoming to like, actually, I I'm not going to lie. I did come in before I watched that. I did come in in that mindset of let me just try it and see where we go. And I remember the first month, like with all the bonuses coming in and me being able to like help even with the rent. And, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh, like I could actually like help pay some of my rent. Like this is insane. Okay. This is working, you know? And then the second month just, even being like, I think there was like a week where one week where I didn't do as well as I wanted. And I was just like, and Manny hopped on. He's like, Hey, keep going. And I was like, you're right. You're right. And I kept going. And I think it was like Friday and Saturday. I got like a bunch of, I got like a bunch of sales and I was just like, Oh my gosh, like everything could just flip. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I forgot what point I was trying to say. I talked so okay. much. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so cool because you're so new in this journey, right? Like still such an mm -hmm. issue, right? With yeah. so much more um, opportunity and growth uh, ahead and in store for you that the next nine, 10 months, the next nine months is, is every month you're going to learn something new. And um, I think the hardest part for people in the agent and training program is letting go of the managers. Right. Mm, yes. Once we congratulate you that you've hit your 50%, which I think I texted you, you already have yep. 10,000 pending to post next month. And so you're right. getting so close is, is we want to make sure that we send you off and not send you off because you're, right. still, you're we're still here, right? But, you know, with the confidence that you need to sell two, three policies a day on your own. And knowing right. that if you do need help, we're going to be there to support you. So um, I guess what, what, um, would you like to share with anyone who's watching this right now as to the value of a free lead program with the support that we have? And, uh, because I think that you're definitely on your way to earning, you know, 5,000, 7,000, 10,000, like you're going to get there. So yeah. what would you say to anyone who's watching? Um, I would definitely say to anyone who's watching, um, one, trust the process. I know a lot of the times we come in wanting to understand everything, you know, but it's like, trust the process, stick to it. And then the other thing is create a schedule for yourself and don't be afraid to ask the tough questions. Like, just there. Trust the process, stick to it. Don't be afraid to ask the hard questions and then create a schedule. These are some of the things that like I noticed were hindering me. Um, the main thing, the value in it all is the amount of support you're going to actually get here. Honestly, you know, whether you're getting it at home, whether you're not getting it at home, I don't know what your situation is. I will tell you. If you put in the work and you put in the hours, the amount of support you're going to get from here is going to set you up to succeed. Like I came in not knowing anything and just shooting darts at everything and mm -hmm. I'm succeeding. You know what I mean? And so for me, that would definitely be the main thing um, is the support the support. I think a lot of the times people fail because they're a one man Island and they're off to themselves. And it's like, if that's your thing and you love it, you can be, you could have that. Yeah. But if you get in the place where like, you know what, I need to pull on somebody else. Like I'm really struggling. Dana is a text away. The managers are a text away. Like, and they actually respond. <laughs> <laughs> I might not pick up the phone, but right. I definitely respond to text messages. Right. They actually <laughs> respond. And so, you know, lean on them, lean on them until everybody else around you begins to see your success and then they'll buy into what you're actually doing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nikita. This was amazing. Thank you for sharing your story. And of course. Um, now it's of time course. for you to get on the phones. <laughs> Let's go. Excited. All right. Bye. Thank you, Dana.